Hi friends, welcome to our tutorials. We are continuing with our AWS full tutorial series for beginners. In this particular today's uh, episode, we will learn why you should learn AWS and what are the features of AWS. You'll also get an understanding of what AWS is. Importantly, we'll layer uh, our roadmap and also a groundwork of this kind of services we are going to learn in AWS. Welcome back friends. I'm your host. My name is Sridhar and I'm here to share my knowledge with you. So in the previous episode, we have learned about uh, the introduction. We have learned about some basics about cloud computing. We have learned what cloud computing is, what are the different aspects of it and other details, which are pretty generic. But today we'll focus, today's episode will focus on AWS. So let's talk about what web, Amazon Web Services is, right? So AWS, uh, obviously, you know that it stands for Amazon Web Services, which is a cloud hosting platform that offers flexible, reliable, scalable, easy to use and cost effective solutions, right? So each of these words has a pretty deep meaning to it. You will learn why, you'll learn how, right? So flexible because you can always add services to it, remove services as and when you need them. Reliable because the SLS that comes with it are up to 99.99 uptime. Um, scalable, it can power the smallest startup that you have or the largest enterprise company you're trying to build. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. It's pretty easy for developers to learn and get started. Also, it's cost effective because you don't invest one time something solution. Rather, you keep um, the, your cost under control because you add services only when you need them and it's also per seat basis uh, or per hourly billing etc so it's pretty um, easy in terms of how this whole uh, cost effective thing plays in market that being said uh, aws is also one of the fastest growing cloud uh, vendor with more than 100 products uh, also uh, if you see it's secure stable uh, so you don't have to worry about um, whether it, will it be secured, will is my data secured. Uh, so it's kind of a public cloud uh, since it has a public access. But then having said that, it's pretty safe, stable and secure. AWS is powered by, you know, more than um, largest. So it's backed by uh, Amazon, which is one of the largest companies on planet. Also, if you see the AWS powers the world's leading companies like Netflix, Amazon. So there is no reason why you cannot build your company on top of it. All right. So that was a quick brief introduction on AWS. So the next is why learn AWS, right? So a lot of uh, questions, a lot of viewers are asking that, uh, should I learn AWS? Should I learn Azure? Should I learn GCP? Which one do I recommend? Uh, so here is the answer for it. Quick update. Uh, so I personally will suggest you AWS uh, for reasons that um, it's a leader in cloud computing market and applications uh, services market enterprise level. Uh, it's rated uh, as a leader by Gartner and other research companies, if you see. Um, so you are not making a mistake in picking up AWS as your career, uh, since you'll be investing a lot of time, effort, energy. Uh, in learning so you better be sure that you're learning someone some technology which is a market leader it has the fastest adoption across various industries right so i have personally worked in various industries and for various different large enterprise clients i can tell you 80 percent of the times they have used aws the large companies um, which only means that if you learn it you'll probably have much higher chances of your growth in these enterprise markets uh, I told you it's um, it's secure, stable, right? Um, and also because um, you will grow in your career as a lead or an architect, right? If you want to become a full stack role, you must know about lead. Um, you must know about some DevOps process, tools, platforms um, like AWS, Azure, GCP, etc. Obviously, um, there is high growth in your career if you're looking for growth. There are a lot of jobs. Um, opportunities in AWS, so which will definitely help you grow in your career. So now let's talk uh, some high level services. I'm not going to talk every service in detail because there are more than 200 services, so it will take a lot of time if I cover all 200 in this slide. Uh, but I, I'm trying to give you an overview of what kind of services are available in AWS, right? 
So Amazon provides more than 200 plus services. And some of the services that I've listed down here is infrastructure as a service. You have containers. You have uh, you can you can configure Kubernetes. You can have uh, containers. You can have VM machines. You can have database as a service. You have RDS. You have DynamoDB. You have DocumentDB. Uh, you have ECS, which is your Elastic uh, Container Service. You have EKS, uh, Elastic Container Service for Kubernetes. I'll cover those also for you. Uh, we have SQS, which is simple queue, queue service messaging queue. We have simple email service. We have serverless. So the list goes on, friends. I'll show you all of that in the uh, once we register our application and start looking into it. You will be amazed to see how much um, how many services it has to offer. It's beautiful platform. Alright, so um, one of the other things uh, sometimes if you're attending an interview, right? Um, this is purely for your preparation uh, kind of thing mode as to why learn. Why should we prefer AWS over other platforms? Uh, so this is, should be your answer that uh, it's on demand services, uh, which means we can add or remove services anytime we want, right? So we can provision the services we want or we can remove the services we want at any time. Now scale up and scale down. So if you want, uh, let's say a particular um, containers, right? Or say size of it as if you are a startup today and you have requirement of 10 servers, uh, tomorrow you need 100 servers. So you can easily scale up or scale down. Um, say if talk about, say for example, during Christmas holiday time, you might want to add up more servers or say uh, database capacity or instances that you want to configure. So so basically you can always scale up and scale down at will, right? Uh, there is no associated um, restriction or contracts that you cannot do it. Now, again, I, I always focus on billing um, and cost because it's an extremely important uh, power play. Um, so it's built like, for example, if you are using computing, right? It is built per uh, millisecond also it's storage how you much you want etc so all this all add up right so billing and cost is an extremely extremely important play when you are considering the um, i would say the platform to build your devops now it's cost effectiveness again the same point i don't want to elaborate it again but if you have any doubts specific to cost effectiveness let me know we can have a discussion all right, so this is my favorite thing. So the turnaround time to provision, design, implement, and launch reduces drastically, which means, um, you know, so so you don't have to wait for days um, to kind of, you know, uh, to get a particular server. You can buy at will, at instance, and then you have it readily available, right? And that's why it's fast. So your launch becomes increases fast. Uh, similarly, if you see logging, database, or anything of those sorts, um, it's all uh, on demand, so you can easily provision them at will, and that's what makes all the difference in computing. Uh, typically, a large uh, the enterprises, right? They, they they are slow. They used to be slow. The traditional companies, because somebody has to put in request, it goes through it approval. You get the instance, then you get it, give it to the guys who configure it, license, maintenance, upgrade it. So it takes time, right? Uh, all of that has been cut down now uh, thanks to AWS. Um, so I personally would prefer AWS and I'm encouraging um, uh, everyone to learn it so that they can also benefit. So if you look at the cat top categories of services, I've put together a simple diagram uh, to show you how this works. And if you see, it's get scattered across different, different categories, right? Uh, it's not only one category that it serves. So AWS will help you cater to each and every serve, like say computing, say serverless, say storage, uh, enterprise app, application apps, uh, dev developer apps, um, and then identity management, AIM, networking, messaging, Internet of Things. Uh, you you name it and it's there. So um, it's just that we have to explore and start learning and building on top of it. You will you will be able to deploy the applications that we have done so far. So it's amazing journey that we are going to cover together. All right, uh, enough of the talking uh, from next. I hope uh, the first two episodes gives you enough uh, background on AWS in, gives you enough uh, excitement about your own uh, journey that you're going to start with AWS. Uh, if you have any queries, do let me know. 
I'll be happy to answer them. Starting next um, episode, we will do thorough hands-on by getting a free account uh, and we will start exploring the platform to the fullest so that you can start mastering AWS. Um, I hope you're liking the series that I'm bringing it for you. If you are, just like the video. If you have any comments, please do let me know. I'll be very, very happy to uh, implement your feedback in the tutorials. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode. We'll get started by creating our free AWS account and we'll start our hands-on exercises. Thank you.